All right, now there are so many amazing features on Samsung Galaxy phones and to access them more often, we take at least a couple of steps on the phone. Now, for example, let's say you want to access modes and routines. You need to go to the settings menu and search for modes and routines and tap on it to access it. Likewise, let's say for themes, again in the settings menu, you will tap on themes or you'll press and hold on the home screen and then tap on themes. Likewise, for digital well-being, if you have to go access digital well-being, you have to go to the settings and then tap on digital well-being. Likewise, there are so many features and applications which can be accessed by taking at least a couple of steps on the settings menu. Now, if you didn't know, all these features or options have their own app icons hidden inside their settings menu. We can enable these icons and bring them onto the home screen or we can add them onto the app tree. That will give us a quick access or a direct access right from the home screen or from the app tree. Let me show you what exactly I'm talking about. Now, let's go to settings. I'll tap on modes and routines. Now here on the top right, I've got this three dot button. I'll tap on this and I'll go to settings. Now here we have got a toggle show modes and routines on apps screen. Now when I enable this, I have got the icon for modes and routines on the app tree. Now I can bring this onto the home screen for a direct access. Now if you are someone who use modes and routines more often, you don't really have to go to the settings and tap on modes and routines. You can just set this icon up on the home screen and just tap on it for a direct access. Likewise, there are more than 10 icons which are hiding inside the settings menu, which can be enabled for a quick access. Now let me show you the second one. I'll go to settings, I'll tap on themes, I'll tap on hamburger menu here and tap on settings. Now here under general, we have got add galaxy themes to home and app screen option. When we enable this, the icon will get added to the home screen as well as on the app tree. Let's go back. Let's look at the third one. We've got digital well-being and parental controls. I'll tap on this, tap on the three dots, go to settings, show digital well-being on app screen. Just enable this toggle to get this icon on the app tree and bring it onto the home screen. Now let me tap on battery and device care. Again, I'll tap on the three dot button. We have an option add to app screen. Now the weather application. Usually we set up the weather widget on the home screen. To open the app, we can even tap on the widget. But if you don't want to set up widget, then you can go to the weather application, tap on the hamburger menu and tap on settings. Here we have got an option show weather on app screen. When you enable this, the weather application icon will be available on the home screen. Likewise, we have got an icon for private share. Let's go to settings. Let's tap on security and privacy. Here at the bottom, you can see private share option. I'll tap on this. This opens the private share and we have got the settings icon here. I'll tap on the icon. As you can see, I have an option add private share to app screen. By enabling this, this icon will also get added on the app screen. Now let's see how to enable finder shortcut icon. I'll open the app tray. This is the search or the finder option here. I'll tap on the three dot button and tap on settings. Here it is. We have got this show apps screen button on the home screen. Enable this. We have the icon on the home screen. Now let's enable an icon for cloud. I'll tap on connections here. All the way down, we have got Samsung cloud option. Tap on the three dots. Go to settings. Show Samsung cloud on app screen. Enable this. We have got the Samsung cloud icon available now. Now let's go to accessibility. Tap on the three dot. Add to home screen option is available right here. Now let's go to the camera. I'll tap on more. Here we have got AR zone options. I'll tap on this. Here we can enable the shortcuts or the app icons for AR doodle as well as AR emoji camera. Just go to the respective settings and you will see this toggle show AR doodle on app screen and show AR emoji camera on app screen. You will be able to bring these icons on the app screen as well as on the home screen. So these are the app icons which are hidden on your Samsung Galaxy phones and this can be brought onto the home screen for a quick access. There could be some more which I have not explored yet. If you find any new hidden icons, do share it in the comment section. That would benefit the community. And uh, while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you find this video useful. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.